What's up, Josh? Um, dude, it's uh, it's been an awesome, awesome year having you here up at Lean Mount Ministry, and um, you've gotten to talk with a lot of people, just individual relationships and stuff that you've built with people in the church, um, but also with just people in the community. Uh, but for those who maybe don't know what got you up here, what brought you here to Lincoln, New Hampshire and Loon Mount Ministry? Well, to, uh, to try to make a long story short, uh, I met Marcus and his family on their through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Um, I was only a couple days into my through hike of the Appalachian Trail and uh, was immediately just like captivated by the Corys and their, Marcus's charisma and uh, Eventually, we kind of exchanged numbers and told me whenever I was coming through Lincoln, uh, just kind of give him a call and he'd come pick me up. And so I did, and uh, in the days that I spent here uh, on my through hike, then I just fell in love with the town, the people, the place, just the mountains. I was just enthralled by the, by the whole environment. So uh, Marcus and I got to talking and um, I explained to him that I was like a pastor's kid and my entire life I've kind of felt a call to ministry in some way or another and uh, he told me about the internship that they had up here and he and I had been talking about how I would love to come and live and work in the mountains and so uh, one thing led to another and here I am. Yeah it's funny a lot of people get drawn here because of Marcus um, he's just such a people person or, or his family and so I, I that was what got me here. Uh, but uh, maybe what were what were some things that you did this winter uh, ministry related uh, when you were up here? What were some things that you guys you got to be a part of that you served and helped out with? Uh, I got to help out with the in town service and the mountaintop service, uh, bringing supplies to and from them, and kind of getting there early and setting things up for for Marcus and the rest of the team to come in. Uh, getting to ski and snowboard after church was always an incredible experience. Yeah. Uh, I got to help with several events throughout the winter, such as uh, wax and snacks and uh, the not so silent auction, as well as the Easter sunrise service and just other events like that. Mm -hmm. It was always super fun. Uh, with Corona coming in, then I had ample opportunity to help out with food distribution and all the other needs that the community has and times like this. Yeah. Yeah, you get to be super involved um, uh, with a lot of the things that are going on. I remember being super busy with events and there's never a dull moment up here at Loon Mount Ministry. Um, I guess unless you're in a pandemic and it slows down a little bit, but it's been cool to get to serve the communities in the way that you've served them. Um, so those are ministry related things. What were some some things that you got to do just like maybe some of your favorite things you got to do just being here in Lincoln, the area, uh, you know, in the White Mountains. Like what were some things that you enjoyed to do? It's like the gateway to the White Mountains. It's uh, this is definitely a pretty special place. There's uh, almost always something to do. Loon is right in the backyard. You can go and snowboard like any time you want, especially working as a lifty. Um, <clears throat> I got the opportunity to go hiking uh, to, at several different mountains off the Kankamongas Highway, off of uh, over in Woodstock. I got to hike. I could just name like a ton of different places I got to go hike. It just, there's always there's always hiking to be done. Um, <laughs> yeah, there is. <clears throat> I've got to experience probably the coldest weather that I've ever experienced in my life here, uh, coming from Tennessee. Then this was a warm winter. Yeah, exactly. That's what everyone says, but I'm pretty sure I got frostbite on my ears or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I just had a ton of fun being in the outdoors this winter, and uh, I feel very very thankful to have had those opportunities. Yeah, I I might not be as big of a hiker as you are, but uh, I totally understand, man. I'm a huge fan of the White Mountains and Lincoln, and this area is just beautiful. Um, so if you could boil it down, I know there's probably a lot of things that God taught you this winter, but if you could boil it down to one thing, one major thing that God taught you this winter, kind of a takeaway, um, what would that be? Well, definitely grown a lot as a human being and picking one is kind of hard to do, but I'd say if I had to choose one takeaway that's really impacted me the most is the importance of community and how to really appreciate and be a part of a community. Um, that's something that I have definitely struggled with growing up, 
really like trusting those around me and kind of like making sacrifices to be a part of a group of people. And uh, I feel like you should kind of show me how to do that. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful. Yeah. Yeah, community was a huge thing personally that I learned when I was an intern five years ago. Um, not just with the church community, you get really involved in the church community, but also with the community community. You know, um, just being involved with, uh, with different events, stuff that happens here in Lincoln. Um, and especially recently with the pandemic as you've gotten to serve. So that's really, really cool. Um, all right, so this is the very end. Uh, you know, what's a message, you know, that you want to relay to future interns, people who are coming here? What's, what's a one message that you'd relay to them? Um, I would let interns know that uh, this experience is your own and it doesn't have to be what past interns experience has been. Um, really just come with, uh, come with an open mind and be willing to be flexible with your expectations, with what you are hoping this experience to be like. And just kind of take it as it comes and uh, appreciate it for what it is. Uh, let your attitude really like determine where you're gonna go with it. And uh, just, uh, just always look to God whenever you kind of don't know where to look next. Dude, you're totally right. Like, we make our experiences what they are. And, um, yeah, you've had an awesome, awesome attitude since being here. So, anyways, we, we've we loved having you as an intern. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just hope that this won't be the last time you'll come hang out with us. Sweet. It's been a great winter. It's been great being here. Sweet. Loved it.